Hey guys, so this video is just a little PSA about Returnal, which is the latest game from Sony and developer Housemark. Um, and it brings me no pleasure to say that in Returnal's current state, I cannot recommend this game to anyone because mainly it's technical reasons, but it's also one massive oversight on Housemark's part. So I'll get into the massive oversight first because I think that's that's less important compared to the technical stuff. So the big oversight problem with Returnal right now is the lack of any saving between runs. So what I mean by that is if you've ever played a roguelike, usually they're broken up in stages where you're going through a level and then you beat the boss at the end. And then there's a point, maybe a room between the boss of the last level and the beginning of the new level where you can kind of, you know, relax, save your progress, stuff like that. That kind of thing doesn't exist in, Re in Returnal. And Returnal's runs, especially if you're going after a lot of the explorable stuff, can be pretty damn long. Um, and one of my experiences when I got to the boss at the end of it, I spent a good 45 minutes on the opening level trying to get to it. And that's with me exploring every little thing. So it's, it's a pretty decent time sink for a roguelike. The problem is that if you need to go somewhere, if you got shit to do, then the game does not provide a very well any any way of really saving your progress in between runs like if you make it to the the beginning of the next stage there is no room where you can just relax and save your progress and be on your way with your real life the game demands that you stick with it until you die which to me is just such a a ridiculous oversight on house mark's part and just flies in the face of respect for the player's time you know, there are plenty of other roguelites that do this, that are challenging. You know, Hades did, Hades did this back before it was even 1.0. I'm pretty sure Hades did this when it first launched in early access back in 20, I think it was like 20, 2018, 20, 2019, I think it came out. But it's like, I don't know why Housemark didn't do this. Like, fucking the Soulsborne games have more forgiving checkpoint system than this. And I'm all for a challenge, but... This is just annoying, and it just could have been avoided so easily. I, I don't know why Housemark chose to neglect adding this to the game. because, And then they offer a solution. Well, you should just put your PS5 in rest mode. Um, you know, what if I need to do something else that will cancel out Returnal? What if somebody else in my house wants to play the PS5? Like, oh, fuck them. I guess they're stuck until I die in Returnal. They can't touch my PS5. Which is such a stupid, dumb ask of the player. And, and I've heard reports, too, that even if you do put the game in rest mode, it will crash in some cases. Which leads me to my next point about why you should not buy Returnal right now. The technical state. Um, for the most part, this game runs extremely well. It looks gorgeous, and it is a fun game. However, there is a serious bug right now that is preventing progression. And I've had this happen to me not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. And the footage you're seeing right now is the fourth time that this happened to me, where I entered a room and I tried progressing through the door that I was meant to go through to get to the next phase of the level, and it simply would not open. And I tried going back to maybe use a teleporter or something, and it locked me into that room. And the only way that I could get out of it was to just end my run and start all over again. And that was after a particularly good run, too, which was just super disappointing. So combine that with the fact that this game gives you no way to save mid-run and the fact that you kind of have to be on your toes and you can't trust the game to work tech-wise as far as bugs and glitches go... This has just led to an extremely disappointing experience, an extremely disappointing first impression of Returnal. Uh, and I, I think this only happened because of the day one patch, from what I understand, from Housemark. And I assume they have some kind of hotfix in the works. They, they fucking better for this. But right now, until they fix these problems, until they fix the crashing, until they, they add some kind of mid-run save to it, 
I cannot in good faith recommend Returnal. And that does not, th- that makes me very sad. I, 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 but I can't in its current state. Uh, Housemark, you, you gotta, you gotta really, you gotta patch this up, guys. And I'm pretty sure everything will be fixed within like a few weeks. But right now, if you're chalking, you know, seventy dollars towards this game, no, I don't recommend this right now for seventy dollars. Not, no, come on, guys. And Housemark, this is completely unacceptable. Not at this level. Not at this kind of price. Not for seventy dollars. No, there, th- no, this is not early access. This is a full AAA seventy dollar release. This should not be happening. Unacceptable. And if Housemark doesn't get this fixed by the time Resident Evil Village comes out next week, I'm just going to move on. Like I said it, during the live stream this week, uh, I got shit to do outside of this game. When I put down $70 for a game, I expect it to work day one. I am not here to be your QA tester. I'm not here to let you be patient and wait for you to fix the game fix the product that you asked me to pay $70 for. So if they don't get this fixed up by the time Resident Evil Village comes out next week, I'm just going to move on from Returnal. I'll go back to it eventually, but if they don't get this patched soon, then don't expect a review of it from me.